This roof was totally screwed. In the last video, we had to unpick and cut off the gutters just to access all the rust. Now that all the rust is repaired, we can get back into putting the roof back on. So in today's video, we will be welding the gutters back on. Let's get straight into it. We've temporarily put the roof back on, just resting where it is, we put some clamps on, just to get it to where it was sitting when we before we took it off. You can see that when it is on there, there is a gap. So what we'll be making is the piece to flatten off so there is no gap underneath the gutter. We're making this piece to replace the old section that was completely rusted out. Now, because this is a bit of a complex part, we are going to make it in two stages. So you can see where we've made the back bit and then we've just welded on this section and then we'll weld it onto the rail itself. So this is a bit of trial and error, but let's see how we go. Roughly got this tech screwed where it needs to be. Now the gutter is sitting where we think it should sit. So that is sort of the idea of where we're going with that. We've got all that gap all filled. So we're gonna chuck the door on just to make sure everything is lining up before we finally weld it on. The passenger side door is on. And this is the first time it's been on the cab after doing all of the rust repairs. The gutter is sitting where it wants to be. I'm really happy with that. And I'm super stoked with how all the lines on the door are lining up. It's come time to bare metal the skin of the roof. We've got a fair bit of surface rust. We've got to make sure we clean that all back. So I've come in with the drill with this flat disc pad. It seems to be working all right. I've already given it a test. So let's keep using it. I was using those flapper discs to clean up the roof. Now, it didn't really do a good enough job because there were still lots of little pitting areas that we could not get off. So, Dad has brought the sandblaster home. We're gonna try and clean it up a little bit better and see if that can take off all the other little bits that the wire wheel and that flapper disc didn't get to. It is already making a difference. That is with the sandblaster and that is without it. It's been a little bit tricky to do this because our tiny little air compressor does not like all of the air that is going through it. We deoxidined the roof yesterday and we don't want to leave it too long before we get primer on it. So we're going to mix up some epoxy, get some epoxy on it to make sure it is protected and all sealed off. Now it's time to move on to the driver's side gutter and we've started off by cutting it off, same as the other side. As you can see, it is quite rusty. Nowhere near as bad as the other side was, but now we've had practice, this one should be a breeze. That was basically the only section that was rusty and needed to be replaced. So made this little section to go in there, weld that in and that should be done. And then we've also come around here and fill in a little section in there because we hacked into it a little bit and we couldn't really weld it up so better off just to fix that all the holes are all filled up so now i'm going to chuck some copper on the areas that are going to get welded and then i'm going to weld in the replacement piece now that the skin on the roof is all epoxied and primed we had a little bit left over so i've just gone back with some gum wash and i'll clean this up Gonna use what we had left over, get a little bit on the actual roof. We had just enough left over epoxy to get the whole roof done. So that is one massive step into getting the skin back on and finishing this roof up. We've come through and welded on the gutter to the piece that we had made. We are happy with how it is all lining up. Happy to continue on with this and get this done. The passenger side gutter is all welded in and that is done. So we got one gutter on. That was a lot of mucking around. It's in place, it's lining up with the roof when it's sitting there. Now we've got to do it to the other side. Right now, we are working on the driver's side gutter. Shout out to Az for giving us a hand. This rail was pretty cooked and he helped us tick it up. So thank you for that. Now we can continue using the original bit so then we can put it back on. With this gutter, 
we have been able to keep most of the factory lip on the inside that mounts to the roof. Now, this side, as you saw, was quite rusty, so we had to cut it off there. That is basically all that needs to be remade. It's a bit funny, but for some reason, we've got the gap even with the factory bit, so we ain't gonna have to tech screw that in so then it's nice and tight and doesn't have that gap. That is the little section that we have made to replace the bit that was rusty. So we'll go and weld that in. Well, now that I have replaced that bit, the next step will be drilling some holes and getting ready to put this on. Before we do, we wanna make sure that the door lines up. Let's get it on. We've just put the door on, so that is all lining up. And we have also test fitted the gutter and put tech screws in it. Pretty happy with where it is sitting at the moment. The skin is back on and we've got everything sort of lining up where it needs to be. We have manipulated the gutter a little bit to line up where it is. Anyway, it is off now. You can see I've had a couple of attempts with the tech screws because I wasn't happy where it was lying the first time. So I'm gonna have to fill up those holes and keep the ones that we're using so we can obviously locate where we want it again. And then I'm gonna have to prep this all so that I can weld it on. I've welded up the holes that I need to weld up. I've put that area in copper. I've also coppered the gutter itself, so that's ready to go on and drilled out holes. The drive side gutter is on and it is time to weld it in, so let's get it done. I feel like a bit of an idiot. I've just wire wheeled the copper off thinking that it wasn't welding to it for some reason because making this blob. And then I check that the gas is on and I forgot to turn it on, so that was my little mistake, but we'll learn from that. So now that the gas is back on, let's hope this makes a difference. Well, it made a difference. I was happy with how everything was looking and once I took this back one off, these two just popped straight off. And you can see at the front that all those three have popped straight off and they've actually not even welded on. I mean, these ones in the middle, they're on solid as, so that's good. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed in that, but anyway. I'm planning on just welding up the top because there's no way I'm gonna be able to drill another hole to get a plug on. Just filled in some of these gaps. It's not super pretty, but it's not going anywhere and it's not gonna be seen, so that's done. That means that both gutters are finished up and now it's time to move on to the roof. I've just brought the roof outside and I've set it up with some plastic on the floor because we're gonna paint strip it. We notice there's a couple layers and get all bare metal before we put it back on the cab. Put some plastic on it, make sure it doesn't dry out. Left it for about 10 minutes, I think. So it starts scraping. It is quite caked on with a couple of layers, so I'm gonna have to come back and do a second coat of paint stripper. I reckon I've taken off probably, I don't know, three layers of paint already. I've already gone through more than half a tin of paint stripper, and that was a full can. Now, it's not great, but what can you do? I mean, I don't really feel like using the whole can of paint stripper because it's quite expensive and I've still got to do the whole cab. The roof is completely bare metal. Uh, we just use those round flapper things to try and clean it all up. To find a ton of these days that doesn't have rust in the gutters or the roof is near impossible. You would have to find one that has been sitting in a shed its whole life. These were just commonly known for rusting out. Now from factory, they weren't treated. It was just bare metal under there. And of course, as soon as any moisture gets under there, it's just gonna get rusty. Most people choose to just cut off the gutters because it's a simple fix. They do look sleek but at the same time, you lose the function of having gutters. Now, we decided that we wanted to keep the gutters original so that if we never was to drive it in the rain, we don't fill up with water. This is what we had replaced. There was a massive ding. Obviously, because this is a work unit, someone must have had something on the back of the train, it's just gone bang, but it's good to get that out and replace it with some nice 
fresh metal. Now we also sprayed some rust converter in these sides, so it was good to access all that because obviously it was quite rusty. So good to clean that up. And that was a quick little thing that we got smashed out of the way. So that was just a little section that we wanted to quickly repair. It's obviously not the roof, but we'll continue on and that is out of the way and it looks way better. It's nice to see something in bare metal. Be able to weld this on and it'll be done. So super keen for that. All clamped up, the skin is in place and it is time to plug in all these welds and get this set for good. You can see that most of the plugs are all in. Now I've left a couple in the ends so that we have a bit of movement for when we weld up the edges of the roof. Now that all the plugs are in, all that needs to be done is these corners. We've had a bit of change of plans. Now, I was planning to get this roof fully completed by the end of this video. It's currently the long weekend and it has given us a chance to get the cab back on the rotisserie. We're gonna leave the roof for a future video. I've already got everything plugged in place so it is kind of where it needs to be and all it really needs done is the sides. So once they're all welded in, that's basically it. And we're almost at a thousand subscribers. So I just want to say thank you guys for the support. It is been very crazy and I'm so thankful for everyone that has subscribed. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.